Well, hello once again, Darkfish Rally friends, and welcome back to the service park here in Salau. It's Saturday lunchtime on the Rally of Spain. What do we have this morning? Well, on the itinerary, we had three stages. We had 59 competitive kilometers for our crews to navigate, but the vast majority of them only completed two stages because in stage 11, this happened. <laughs> On the face of it, that was a very big shunt for Gus Greensmith. Really bad luck. Bad luck, you know. He was too quick. He was too quick by the looks of things. That's two in a row for Gus Greensmith on the Saturday. That is something that he will want to well and truly put behind him. The good news, Gus and Jonas are both absolutely fine. As you can see, though, that car far from fine. But before that, we had two interesting stages. Don't forget, we had a really close battle at the front between well, the Toyotas of Seb Ogier and Cali Rovenpera, four and a half or so seconds between them. But this morning was very much Sebastian Ogier's morning. Uh, Seb, you said you would take it a little easier this morning. It didn't look like that out there. You were pushing hard through the first and second one. Uh, yeah, of course I didn't took it easier because uh, I knew that uh, the gaps were small and I think uh, you know, it was important to start uh, straight away on a good pace. And I think it was the case on, on stage one, uh, just a few tenths behind Cherry and then uh, and then even even better second stage. So, yeah, unfortunately, the last one was cancelled uh, because for me, I feel it's the most beautiful one from the loop. But uh, hopefully we can do it this afternoon. Yeah, it was a very bad question. What you did say was you would build your pace and that maybe it wouldn't be flat out through the opener. Um, you've obviously got a really good lead now. Does that does that change at all your strategy uh, for the rest of the rally? very good lead I mean it's a small 10 seconds so you know uh, it's far to be over so for sure uh, honestly I have to keep doing the same as I've done so far uh, that means the feeling is good you know there is no reason to back off now at all so we need to keep pushing so Ogier building a lead yeah he doesn't think it's a good lead does he 10 seconds on tarmac it's a decent lead what it is now is a defendable lead he's defending from Cali Rovenpera maybe as well from Thierry Neuville but Rovenpera well, I reckon he should be looking behind him because Neuville is on a little bit of a charge. Let's hear what Rovan Pera had to say to us just a few moments ago. Cali, we were really looking forward to a fight between you and Seb. Just hasn't gone your way this morning. Why is that? Uh, Seb has just been a bit faster. So no, nothing, uh, nothing else. He has been just a bit faster. Can you go faster? Yeah, I can, but then uh, it's a lot of risk. Uh, I think the puncture risk is, is also quite high. I think... When everybody knows the stages, it's just because uh, who takes the biggest cut and most risk in the cuts and stuff. So, so yeah, I'm not so comfortable to take much more. Are you happy to sit back and watch and learn? Yeah, for sure. We have nothing, nothing to stress now. So, of course, I want to be in a good position for the team and, and hopefully stay in the fight uh, and, and bring some good points. Thierry still thinks he can catch you. Yeah, for sure. He's, he's close and he has been faster, so let's see what happens. Maybe a bit more then to come from Rovan Pera this afternoon. He might have to find a little bit more because Neuville, well, if he can get it all working for him, we know how quick he can be on tarmac. Four or so seconds behind Rovan Pera. Does he think he's still got a chance? I'm sure he does. We had a quite OK stage in the morning, but struggling with some understeer. But still, uh, we're able to, to take out nine tenths of Sebastian. But unfortunately, on the second stage, uh, yeah, um, I had a good one through, but he was just faster than us. And um, yeah, uh, we would have given another try on the on the last stage of the loop, but unfortunately, it was cancelled. Uh, you know, obviously, at the start of the day, you still had aspirations to catch OJ at the front. Is the battle now more realistically between you and Cali? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, there the battle is clearly on. It's only 4.5 seconds. However, um, we won't give up. What about changes then at lunchtime? A bit tricky having only done two of the three stages. Yeah, we will not change a lot. I mean, uh, it, it didn't feel so great this morning uh, with the changes we did overnight. But uh, um, throughout the stages, I was working a bit on the setup still. And yeah, I think we are going more and more in the right direction now, hopefully. So that's our battle at the front for the three podium places. What's going on behind? Well, I'd have to say nothing too spectacular. You know, Elvin Evans needs a good day. 
I wouldn't say he struggled, but he maybe hasn't found the, found the pace that he would like to have found. Similarly, Craig Breen gone back to some development settings on his car. It's kind of worked. Certainly through the opening stage of the morning, it looked decent. Second stage, well, we'll have to wait and see. You know, there's a lot more to come for sure from Craig Breen and that Puma. Lots more to come as well in this rally, I'd have to say. Fingers crossed, folks. We have three stages, the whole of the look this afternoon to look forward to. 59 Ks, it's going to be interesting. Can Ogier fend off Robin Perra? I'm sure he can. The big question is, can Robin Perra fend off Thierry Neuville? Stick with us, folks. You know where to be. All the action, all the drama as it unfolds. Dirtfish.com.